Hi, you're watching Investor Insights. I'm Vic, and this morning uh, it's not so much an instructional video, but rather an update. Now, the Federal Reserve, through its statement yesterday, uh, said that there will be further tapering down to $65 billion a month. So, another $5 billion reduction in both mortgage backed assets and treasury purchases. And this is contrary to what I've been um, predicting or saying. Uh, for the past little while but essentially it really isn't because this is Ben Bernanke's last present to the world in an effort to cover up the big mess that he's actually created in the first place now without getting into it for too long as this is just an update the tapering is a token gesture it's there to make him look as if he is uh, what people have dubbed him as the Buddha of central banking. God, now they're actually referring to um, Ben Bernanke as a deity in, in some sense. But essentially, what is done is make a cake. But this cake is made out of um, dog poo. But through the December tapering, or the um, offering of tapering, he's actually put a nice layer of icing sugar on this uh, dog poo cake and last night by saying that there will be further tapering because economic conditions warranted he's actually just put a few cherries on top of the dog poo cake and poor Janet Yellen who's been handed the baton of the um, Fed chairmanship got it right this time is going to have to cut this cake and show it to the world. So as the Federal Reserve tapers its asset purchases, you will find that economic growth, which really isn't economic growth, it's inflation masquerading as economic growth, as I've been saying over and over again, as well as, infl as passing on all this inflation overseas. I mean, take a look at Turkey, take a look at Argentina, this is just in the past couple of days. There is a lot of unrest as people finding out that uh, price is going through the roof, especially the poor when they find out that food is actually now beyond their means. And what's going to, hang, uh, to happen to interest rates? Well, first of all, the 10-year got trashed. So capital losses for all of you who are speculating in the bond market. Secondly, you are getting one step closer to a full government debt default as interest rates rise because as the real unemployment remains high and government receipts are stagnant if not falling in real terms then you realize that um, there is no ability to service this debt and as these productive nations will now look at selling off their US dollar reserves or treasury reserves just to get some of this money back there's going to be a run on the US dollar because in a debt money society when the debt goes bad the money goes bad just as quick so poor Janet is going to be faced with the prospect just in the next couple of months or three months of an economy that worsens by the day and with the inability to hide inflation as is shown overseas you're now looking at a prospect of first of all the retraction of this tapering so as this layer of um, icing sugar and cherries are removed you will find out that Fed policy has actually been a big cake made out of dog poo um, the asset purchases will have to be increased just to sustain this false economic growth now the actual statement that came out or the actual suggestions implied by the statement is that asset purchases will be finished by December well if that was to happen it would be great but if that was to happen the American Treasury market will cease to exist and the American um, economy will basically cease to exist because the currency will essentially stop to exist because as the interest rate defaults um, 
sky, uh, skyrockets, the US government has to default. It just has to. So all this lo artificially low interest environment is going to disappear and the consumer with all this extra debt, the corporations with all this debt that they've issued in the past three or four years in this low interest rate environment will not be able to refinance. Um, companies like Apple, Intel, Google don't really give a rat because they've got a lot of cash reserves. But 95% of all companies out there are surviving on debt issuance and the renewal of this debt is paramount. And then finally, as I said before, government debt will have to be restructured in some way and there has to be some pretty big haircuts just to get things back on track. And believe it or not, haircuts from US Treasuries will be out of the question. It's either all in or all out. Now my friends, you can read into the Fed statement as much as you want and you can interpret it uh, whichever way that uh, you can just as I have but as I've said before it's all a token gesture.